Revelation chapter 1 This book describes the things that God showed to Jesus Christ. He wanted Jesus to show these things to his own servants. They are events that must happen soon. Jesus sent his angel to show them to me, his servant John. I, John, have written about everything that God showed me. These things are a true message from God. They are the things that Jesus Christ says are really true. If anyone reads aloud the words of this prophecy, God will bless that person. God will also bless those people who listen to these words if they obey God's message. All these people will be really happy. These things are very important and they will happen soon. I am Chan. I am writing to the seven churches that are in the region called Asia. I pray that God will be very kind to you. I pray that He will give you peace in your minds. God is alive now. He has always been alive. He will continue to be alive forever. God will help you. And the seven spirits that are in front of His throne will help you. Jesus Christ will also help you. He always speaks a true message. He is the first person who become alive again after death. He rules the kings of the earth. Jesus loves us and He died for us. That is how He made us free. Because of Jesus, God will not punish us for the bad things that we have done. Jesus has brought us into His family so that we belong to God's kingdom. He has made us priests so that we serve His God and Father. Because of this, we praise Jesus Christ who will always be very great. He has the power for all time. This is true. Look. He will come in the clouds. At that time, everyone will see Him. Even the people who push a spear into His body will see Him. People from all the countries on the earth will be sad when they see Him. Yes, this will really happen. It is true. The Lord God says, I cause all things to begin and I will cause all things to end. I have all power and authority. I am alive. I have always been alive. I will continue to be alive forever. I am John. I am a believer, as you are. So I am like your brother and your friend. Because you belong to Jesus' kingdom, we are having trouble and pain. So, we all need to be strong and patient as Jesus help us. The Roman leaders punished me because I taught God's message. I told people the true message about Jesus. That is why they sent me to Patmos Island. On the Lord's Day, God's Spirit caused me to see and to hear things. I heard a voice speak behind me. The sound was as a loud as a trumpet, and the voice said, When you see these things, write them in a book. Then you must send the book to the seven churches in these cities, Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Chatera, Sardes, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. I turned around to see who was speaking to me. When I turned, I saw seven gold lamps stand with their lights. In the middle of the lights, I saw someone like a son of man. He was wearing long clothes that reached down to his feet. He wore a gold belt round the top part of his body. His head and his hair were white like sheep's hair. They were very white like snow. His eyes were like fires that were burning brightly. His feet shone like a yellow metal that shines brightly in a very hot fire. When he spoke, his voice was very loud. It was like the sound water that pours along a river very fast. He held seven stars in his right hand. A sharp sword with two edges came out of his mouth. His face was like the sun when it shines very brightly. When I saw him, I fell down at his feet like a dead person. Then he put his right hand on me and he said to me, Don't be afraid. I am the one who is the first and also the last. I am the one who always lives. I died once. But look, now I am alive, and I will be alive forever. I have authority over death and over Hades, the place of dead people. So write down the things that you have seen. Write about what you see that is happening now. Also write about the things that will happen later. You saw seven stars that I held in my right hand. You saw seven lights in their gold lampstand. Now I will tell you what they mean. The seven stars show 
what the angels of the seven churches are like. The seven lights in their lampstand show what the seven churches themselves are like.